Here we go. We are now Hello. recording. We are with the wonderful John Cercone, or John Jorgensen, I should say. Jan Jorgensen. <laughs> Jan <Yeah>. Jorgensen. <laughs> welcome, welcome, John. Thank you so much for your time to be with us. Thank you for agreeing to being with us for the totality of the 108 days, and especially to talk today um on on what this what this feels like what this represents and what it could be potential for for all of us as a collective um on planet earth so i wanted you to um have the voice and speak about the differences that are being voiced out or the the, the people like you know i think we're all experiencing that where we're a little bit worried about letting people know whether we whether we want to wear a mask or we don't want to wear a mask or whether we agree with this or we don't agree with that you know as an example and and, and then seeing that people are very uh, strongly they have strong opinions about something that a lot of us are feeling we have the right um, answer and no, 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 somebody else has the right answer. And before we know, it seems like even community of, of uh, you know, friends, good friends, I feel like that there is this great divide, it's like a, a split happening and that maybe this project will, you know, perhaps bring some kind of awareness that if we are, if we are just choosing for a moment to listen, things, this, this could be the beginning of something new. Oh, yeah. well, Please talk to us. You are so uh, correct in initiating this project because the answers are not going to come from this dimension or earth plane. We must uh, separate the huge increasing snowball bubbles of chaotic think, a very unusual strange bedfellows within the within those bubbles of alliances and propaganda and conspiracy theories, it is like this, more complex and sophisticated perceptual management than ever before. And why? Because our souls are at stake. One bubble is fear-based and goes to the point to even create videos and propaganda using the languaging and nuances of the New Age community to act as if it's a Pleiadian starseed saying, this is true, this is the great white hope, when in fact, that's interference of another international influence to come in to keep the chaos going, to take the social democracy down by calling labels and different things, by bringing in agitators to peaceful protests. But on the other side, you have a, a dysfunctional system, long-term uh, um, beings and governmental and social systems that really don't empower people to be who they really are in a divine sense. Uh, both of them are not sustainable. And the two at this point are bouncing off of each other. And I can't say that um, either of the bubbles represent true love. One is more traditional, democratic. This is how we do it. Let's return to some common uh, calm and normalcy. And the other one is it, it brass tactics of, of, oh my goodness, where lying is okay. So both of these political systems within their very inherent natures are snowballing and attracting people who want to feel safe and vote. And yet the answer is not there at all. In fact, this cataclysm of mass consciousness belief bubbles, which are now almost intractable, and you have no communication across the aisle. Um, we, as those who access, access a higher order and have done hopefully a lot of healing work and can meditate and pull back the curtains and not reference our thoughts 
and our ability to discern truth, stay calm and stay grounded in new potential, intuitively guided, higher forms for humans to interact. And what are the words that guide that? Integrity, accessing um, and working with your heart and your gut to sort through all, all of this. So I guess what I'm saying is your project is divinely timed. Because right now, the camps are almost on fire, and they pour kerosene on each other's fire. So it, it, it's almost like there's no peace. And what I've learned is, is that which is not sustainable will compost itself. We are not in a sustainable trajectory of one mind, of kindness, good, love, truth, and beauty of benevolent outcomes for mankind. We have a thousand camps. We have selfish, lying, uh, deceit, using people, which all comes from what? A very old form of control over, which is a toxic masculine, not necessarily male, but we know this. So the pendulum is swung and we're in a state of complete disarray where guess what? The house cannot be put back together and dusted. You can't pretty up something that is broken, non-communicative. So we must disassociate ourselves, recognize it, but no, we as one divine being can't fix it all. So let go of any guilt or shame that I caused it. This is a complete tidal wave of new energy being brought in that will disentangle and dissolve all fear-based creations on this earth. And guess what? That's through us, our circuitry. So our job is to not spend time reacting. I know my specific job is to maintain a sense of alignment with truth, clear our fields of fear, and understand that we must speak truth. Because if truth is absent, or working intuitively with the face of God, the divine feminine face of inclusivity, communication, co-creation, collaboration. If I don't speak up with the pictures that source is giving me, that is missing from baking the cake for the new world and the new paradigm. So that's my job. So here comes the new queen. Well, let's pull back, push away these huge boulders of the do clashing uh, perceptual mass consciousness density balls that are squeezing me. They're actually hurting my brain. They're hurting my body. They're making my children suffer. They're making everybody suffer. So we use our creative imagination. The divine feminine is so good at this. Push that away and we let pure nothingness come in because guess what? You can't fix the future with the ideas from the past. So we have to clear the decks and that is stillness. And that's that moment, encodements, pictures, colors, remembrances, knowing based on your own personal journey and trajectory, you get exactly what you need in the right timing. But we have now done enough work, those that are really working with the vibrational field, that we are going to form a cohesive, collective new platform of higher energy and let the new, I'll tell you, this plan has been in place for eons and the beings here, teammates who are each holding a specific node, minds the voice, different, you know, we are, we are uh, here as teamworks to light up and spark a vibrational grid. Remember, lower vibrations always give way and become part of a higher vibration field. That is physics, it's entrainment. So it is our job to hold our node as a circuit board and to always be referencing my core, my physical, mental, and emotional space with the highest vibration possible. 
and you can show this all the years that <clears throat> I taught at the Sound of Consciousness Institute, you can show in your electromagnetic aura exactly what your field is holding in your emotional, physical, mental field. So we are looking to access the vibrational uh, point, the zero point of over 732 hertz. So in the 108 day project, there will be that one minute and guess what? We can morph time. We, we have ability to do so much. One minute to clear our mind huge, huge vibrational information and upgrades that guess what? Just doesn't go through me or a nook, goes through the entire, the, every single person gets the memo. Ah, fear dissipates on the planet as we raise our collective vibration in that 160 second field. A thought imbued with divine frequency creates, right? Right, we think everything and then we create it. We're working with the powers of source and going to the zero point. The energies, the high vibrational energies of the universe make this domain malleable. We dominate the frequency field, the vibrational field moves into new configurations. So what happens to all the people that are vibrating at 400, you know, in fear, control, and this, all different labels, you know, and suddenly they start becoming unhinged. And that's what's happening. People who are in fear are like, be greater and greater anger resistance i'm holding this it's right it's like a child tantruming and he knows he's misbehaving and is asking for someone to show him how to behave so we are doing it vibrationally you know label judge and when we speak standing on our note clearing our mind we are imbued and infused with divine order in alignment and benevolence, truth, beauty, love, and goodness. And this can't comes through. And guess what? Their heart and gut says, oh, they value and love me too, even though I'm misbehaving. And that will change the world. So this one minute of silence um, uh, as a vibrational healer, uh, like Anouk, I understand how important it is to have no thoughts but to have an intention have an intention and set the field for the highest thing to happen which our logical uh, ego mind can't even predict and I learned this working with hospice patients because there I was nervously singing and I just said geez they're dying they're not judging me I can let down all my defenses and in this moment, I can just be. And then I, Spirit would say, sing this note. Sing this note. And suddenly, I was being bathed with heaven's frequencies and tones and vibrational field. I was lifted up. And as a nurse, I saw that person going like this, like this. Pretty soon, that high vibrational field, remember, over 734 hertz, we're accessing other interdimensional beings where they reside. You see, you hear, and you begin to commune. Earth has been shut down and isolated in her 400 to 600 vibrational range. So it was only with those with eyes to see and ears to hear and an intention to raise their vibration that gets to hear and see and we're called crazy we're called oh you are nuts well that's fear or something they don't understand so we are changing uh, these are universal laws that if you are vibrating you can put your head through and so here i was in hospice going i don't know what this feeling is but i must have it every second so i began studying intention thought sound it out 
So this this thing of of letting the thought go is the human vehicle, and we want the golden chariot vehicle. We want a bigger thought, a more expanded thought. One that we're sending an SOS. We're doing 108 days of letting go of thought. And just like I sat at that hospice bedside and said, the way I've done things, the way I've sung in the past doesn't work. Doesn't work. I let go and the beauty and grace and vibrational field. And that's what you're doing in this project. So the way that I drop in is I use threes. One. That opens the gate Two, here you are, get centered, three, begin. And I have a very simple three point process that I use with everything with helping release fear from the uh, female voices speaking. It's always the same. And what it does is it gives you the harness of your vibrational field. Here's how it goes. I call it the be the light. It's a pretty simple name, but it's perfect. Number one. You claim your space. So if you're getting ready to start your meditation, take a deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth. You will train your neurological system that on the third ring or third breath, you are dropped in. And it's like you're pulling a shade down over your mental apparatus, which is like a little pea in the middle of your brain. And you just see the waves of thoughts, because it's, it's like operant somatic conditioning, are beginning to let go. And you imagine that there is a zero point out there. I drew a picture. A zero point, and you're floating in the middle. And guess what? There's zero points all over the planetary grid. All sorts of them. So. I imagine that I'm not engaging in thought. I'm floating in the middle intersection of all the activity and I'm floating. And this is what I say. I command all the cells in my body with my voice and intention. I ask and intend to set a sacred space. My whole body goes, yes, I know this. And I imagine that I'm in a geometric structure. Everything in the universe has the axiotonal geometric structure. And I imagine that I'm in this like uh, octahedron, four sided on top, pyramid, four sided on the bottom. And I float in my zero point. <laughs> and I say, I ask and intend that everyone else's energy and thoughts are now removed from my sacred space. You feel like you're floating, you're free. I ask that my own thoughts be removed and stilled and silenced in my sacred place now. I'm in charge of this place. I'm in charge of this sacred place. And then I just watch, I feel safe. I'm not having the world like this. I'm in my little hammock. I'm resting in my zero point. Our thoughts are always there to predict, control, and monitor, and plan to keep us safe. I don't have to right now. I've set it up so I can be thoughtless, mindless. And then guess what? You just put your attention in your heart, your headquarters, and notice all this energy relaxes. It's like a blank, a void. Take a deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth and notice that you feel very safe and grounded having new, no thoughts so that you can allow spaciousness for new information. And then I say, I ask for my divine guides to come in and surround me. And in this moment, of stillness, I open my crown chakra and I connect with mother, father, source of all that is. And I create a communal connection 
and I allow an essence of vibrational information that I am needing right now for my path, my role in the divine plan. And guess what? You don't have to know what that is. In that still point, if we're all going together, it's like an army is waking up. I mean, you're being you. I'm being me. We're carrying a high vibration. The catalyzing action of that grid activation will propel us to a new attunement, to a new mass consciousness of music that is in harmony, thoughts, hearts, souls, everything. It's a reattunement of the dissonant orchestra. Okay. <laughs> That's what I wanted to I share. Love it. Thank you so much. A reattunement of the universal orchestra. Or you said something a little bit different, but along those lines. A reattunement. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing all that all that you share. That is a lot. I don't need to I have something it funny. <laughs> There's that something funny I want to add. People always yes. say, well, if I'm having no thoughts, then what? What I've learned is um, two times when I go in that space, a higher, my higher self takes over. And I have fallen asleep and woken up and looked around. And so what am I doing? Where am I? And people said, I never missed a word. In other words, my higher self came in and used this body operationally to deliver information that happened twice. And they said, don't you see your personality self is just a placeholder until you get the real uh, awakening and presence. That was Absolutely. And that, and that's amazing because, you know, I do the, the um, life within lives. I call it soul journeys. Yes. Life regressions. And we get to the stage where the soul, the soul allow us, I ask permission and the soul allows the higher self to speak. And there's yeah. no personality. There's no personality when that voice yeah. speaks. Yes. And it's very clear and very to the point. And it, the whole voice it. changes, the face yes. changes. There's no yes. defensiveness. I'll tell you the, uh, the key to the new paradigm is the undefended state. And that's how we began this conversation. We feel like we have to have layers of defensiveness where we can't even be ourselves anymore. That absolutely. is not absolutely, world. absolutely, absolutely. You spoke so much about truth and about having the voice and we can only be truth if we know ourselves, right? And knowing ourselves is the freedom. And why would we be anything else? Why would we choose to not be the truth of our soul? So absolutely. I think it's Marianne Williamson said, there's a part of us that's afraid that if we have all that power, that who, who am I to have that? And it also comes with a great responsibility. Absolutely. Yeah, a absolutely. commitment. Absolutely. That was exactly what um, uh, he is a, an elder. He's an Aztec elder. His name is Max Satsin. Maybe some people know him. And he always used to say, it is easy to say, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what my mission on earth is. Because once you do, that's your, it's your, it's your sacred responsibility. And it's, it's not an easy one to be. Yes to be fully yourself not if, you're the here, planet. not if you're here holding a note now yes. not, not everybody is but um we know who we are and we now we're meeting each other and we have to uh profoundly bump it up we have to bump absolutely. up our process absolutely. the videos you know mastery. i like that i like that i think it's snap out like snap out of what isn't you anymore and bump it up. I like it. I know, but it's it kind of shocking. It's kind of shocking to look at myself and say, oh my goodness, like I'm, it feels upgraded, but it almost feels shocking to have all this new, uh, it's like a confidence of the world just can't push me over anymore. 
It just can't. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. I yeah. agree. <laughs> and no, get to a space of no reaction and just say, well, bless them for they know not what they do. Some of those things in the Bible, I'm really starting to repeat because I do think as much as they tried to make a personality figure, the pure, absolute teachings of Buddha and Christ and these divine beings, yes. it's a simple formula. It's Absolutely. Really Absolutely. I was being reminded of, um, I was being reminded of Rumi and I probably not quoting it correctly, but something along the lines, the, the doors of the jail are open. Why do you choose to still stay in it? <laughs> something along those lines. And it, and it's true that our, our construct, it's, it's the jail and, it, and it's, Life is changing and we need to change with it. You know, chaos will come and do its thing and then new life appears from within the rubble, from within the, the burn, from within the, the destruction. And we are, we are those seeds, right? We are those amazing seeds of full potential that are super strong no matter what. So and you know what we are the ones we've been waiting for. <laughs> you know what helps these seeds is um, talks like this. And part of the SOAR organization that I work with, the initiative of creating circles where women yes. can speak about their spiritual experiences and connect to support and have more expansion rather than being out in the regular world and feeling like I'm so different, I'm so sensitive, I'm just going to stay put. So it, 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 what you're doing is in human languaging that is attracting resonantly all the people who totally get and are ready for you to hold this as the center of the maple. I, I, I believe that this is a very important project for this stair stepping of where we're headed. Thank you, concern. John. Thank I you. I said any way that I can help you and always lovely to check in and mm, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And just one more thing that you you mentioned and I just want to remind everybody is that not not doing what we're supposed to be doing doesn't feel good right it's as you said all of a sudden you feel nothing is going to stir you nothing is going to push you aside yeah. you are who you are and you need to speak and you need to stand and you need to be yourself and not doing those things doesn't feel good so this is a huge um a huge um gauge that yes. you know if you're and not you, feeling you good feel? how you feel um, you know, there's a saying recently, it said that which is within you, uh, that you bring forth your, your true gifts will redeem you. But if they sit there, they will be your demise. And we, we make a contract, a prenatal contract, not just with the creator, but I made one with you, with my partner and other beings who are asking me to hold my vibrational field. And right now it's harder than ever, but it, 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 you know, it's part of the deal. We have the tools and now we have each other. This is really important to stay connected and to uh, honor those on the path with us and to not isolate now. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank all you right. So Lovely much. to see you there in Egypt. Yes. Thank Thank you. you for all the amazing, amazing insight and wisdom. Thank you for being with us. Love you so much. Thank you for this Have time. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Much love. Much bye -bye. love. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>